everybody! Today, let's make soup! Soup, soup, soup! <laughs> it's a delicious soup, but really, really budget-friendly. You know what I'm saying? You need just only one bag of kongnamul, soybean sprouts, kongnamul kimchi kuk. It's a soybean sprouts and kimchi soup. This is my, one of my favorite recipes. Almost once or twice a week, I make this soup. I post the recipe kimchi soup and the kongnamul soup and then today is kongnamul plus kimchi soup. You know how many different ways we can use kimchi. Once you have kimchi at home, you can make tons of tons of recipes. Kongnamul cook by itself is very delicious. I make very often, but when you add some kimchi, kind of fermented kimchi, the taste is amazing. All of Koreans love this. And the smells good when it's boiling, smells good, tastes good. Whenever I think about this soup, my mouth is watering. Oh, I feel like kongnam cook and rice. Soybean sprouts. I'm going to make this soup with 12 ounce kongnam and then later I will add kimchi. But in this soup, main actor is kongnam So let's get started. While you are washing, you will see sometimes these beans, kind of broken brownish beans, just to remove. Now so clean. I find the soybean sprouts anywhere these days. In the just the main grocery store, not only in Korean grocery store. You guys can try to find these soybean sprouts at your local market. Add some onion. This is around half a cup. Garlic. Cut green onion, large green onion. This green onion, I'm going to add this later. Next, kimchi. It's a well fermented kimchi, sour taste. And I'm going to add maybe one cup. So as I told you, soybean sprouts are main. So kimchi is just supporting. <laughs> just chop this into small pieces. You see, one cup. So this leftover juice. This guy, I need this, anchovy, dried anchovies. So eight large dried anchovies already I cleaned. So eight, and we are going to add two guys. Head, remove head, press down, and open, remove the guts, like this. You guys can use anything, just at home. Any strainer, tea strainer, or use a cheesecloth and wrap it up and just make a knot. And you can use that. Let's add water. Seven cups water. Then cover and cook. Medium high heat. Check it out, sometimes it may boil over, you may have to crack the lid. I cooked this 25 minutes. Oh my, nice. See? Kongnamul is, uh, look at that. Looks very crispy, and but well cooked, and also not too much kimchi, and color is perfect. And let's add green onion. We still have this anchovy pouch inside. 
and we need to keep until the last minute. And then fish sauce, this is one tablespoon plus one teaspoon. I made many, many times, so this ratio is perfect for me. And stir this. So five more minutes. I'm going to show you how I set the table with the kongnamulku and rice and side, some side dishes. Wow. So 25 minutes. After that, five minutes more. So total 30 minutes we cooked. I'm sure this anchovies fulfilled their mission. You see? You like this color? Nice. These are all available on my website. First, I'm going to taste this soup. Oh, that's it. So refreshing. This is exactly what I want. Ah. So when soup is going down, I feel very refreshing. In Korean, we say that 시원하다. 시원하다, 시원하다 in English is cool. Another meaning is that like a very, very refreshing. You will hear, if we have a Korean friends, after swallowing some soup and then they said 시원하다. These are braised soybeans. Soybean sprouts, <laughs> braised soybeans. I usually don't set the same time, but I wanted to show you. I always have this in the refrigerator these days because soybeans are very nutritious and healthy. This is dubujorim, braised tofu. Rice first and side dishes and coming back to soup. This is bok choy. I blanch the ends, mix with the seasonings. And galbi. <laughs> I just grilled the galbi. I'm going to cut this between the bones. Eat. Mm. Mm. See with the salad. I'm going to mix this soup with my rice. Usual way I enjoy. Today, I showed you how to make really easy, simple soup. Kongnamul kimchi kuk, soybean sprouts and kimchi soup. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.